Hmm. <clears throat> okay. What does Islam say about war? Islam permits fighting in self-defense, in defense of one's faith, or on the part of those whose basic rights have been violated. It lays down strict rules of combat. It's rules for everything, don't they? That include prohibitions against harming civilians and destroying crops, trees, and livestock. Yeah, well, that's especially wise if you're going to conquer the, the area and subjugate the people. Yeah, makes perfect sense. But, I mean, that's assuming that, you know, the religion of peace needed to be spread at the edge of a sword. We all know that really happened. That was actually something they don't mention here or in any of these so far. Terrorism, indiscriminate killing through mass means like suicide bombings, and weapons of mass destruction torture and humiliation as tactics of war and mutilation and disrespect of the dead are totally forbidden by Islam. They're just some members that we saw lots and lots of news clips on. You know, of people that didn't get that that memo. Apparently, they didn't they didn't catch it. They didn't get that message. You know. Fighting is only permitted after all nonviolent <laughs> all nonviolent means have been exhausted. That's always a good idea. As Muslims see it, injustice would be triumphant in the world if good people were not prepared to fight for a righteous cause. Yeah, that message went out the window a long time ago. Even the Christians can't get that one right anymore. Or at least most of them, if not nearly all, which is extremely most of them. Yeah, well, you know, straight and narrow gate, you know. Many will be called, few chosen. So... But that's Christianity. Let's not get this confused. God says in the Quran, permission to defend has been granted to those who are being fought against. That they have been oppressed. Verily, God has the power to help them. Yeah, we should just pause and, uh, yeah, and ruminate that point. Just think about it. But no, it doesn't work out that way. God needs hands and feet of humans to do his dirty deeds when dirty deeds must be done. Apparently, God has the power to help them. Those who were unjustly expelled from their homes for no other reason than saying God is our Lord. So once again, it's become an insular, our religion subject, our religion against the world. <sighs> Pardon me. <sighs> if God were not to repel some human beings through others, monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques wherein the name of God is mentioned would have certainly been destroyed. 
Yeah, by the other face. There's no... <laughs> They've been the ones that had all the power throughout human history, pretty much. The military and or the religion, and usually they co they become the same. It's really ugly. You don't want to live under that, believe me. God will definitely help those who will help him. Oh, wow, what a turn. Now we got to help the Almighty. He said, needs, needs human hands, human agency. They get the message. Somebody hears voices or claims to. And uh, yeah, those who help him, he'll probably help you. Verily, God is immensely strong, mighty. And that's Surah 22, 39 and 40. So, uh, yeah, they're always the good guys. Otherwise, they're not fighting. Yeah. I believe that. Let me know if you learn anything. And stay tuned.